Looking at the matric paper solid geometry question from 2020, uh, they've given you this pyramid over here, it's upside down, and this other little pyramid over here, this one has a hexagonal base and that one has a square base. Right, they've got this cutting plane going through here and they've asked us to draw a front view, a sectional top view, a sectional right view and the true shape of the cutting surface on the hexagonal pyramid. Now what normally people have a problem with is trying to figure out where this thing is meant to go on this page in order to get all those views in the right places. Um, what I'd suggest you do is, first of all, just look at the question. They've asked you to do a right view. You're going to need to have space for a right view. If you look at that idea, there, I need space for that right view to come across over here. So if you just give a, an impression of where that is in relation to where your right view is going to go, um, you also are going to need to have space for your, um, for your, true shape over there, draw it in onto this little question over here, and then start. Um, you realize that you need space at the top of the page over there, so you need to start as low down as possible, and obviously you need to have it more or less in the middle so that you've got that space over there and space over there. Right, the lowest point of this thing is that point over there, so what I'd suggest you do is you start with that down at the bottom of the page over here, um, just drawing in a construction line, 45 degrees, and you're going to then measure off that 45 millimeters that they've asked you to draw the length of 45 millimeters. Come down over here, draw a little arc going that way, go in there, draw another little arc going in that way. That gives you the center line that you can draw in. Center line going across here, all right, and from there, I can then draw a circle, construction line circle going around over there. Um, from that point, I'll be able to draw in a little arc over there, and if I'd drawn that a little bit better, I can then draw in a little arc over there. From that point, I can then draw in, in construction lines, note, not drawing in dark, just in construction lines, that hexagonal shape for the top of the upside down pyramid. Right, once that's in place, continuing here, um, I'm going to then move up over here. I'm going to draw in my XY axis. Label it X, Y, and you can then start by drawing your top view as well. So I'm going to take lines coming up from all of these points over here, just construction lines coming up. I'm doing them in colored pencil so that you can see them more clearly. Right, once I've done that, um, I also need this center line or the central point over here to come up and meet the XY axis over there. Right, um, from there, I'm going to measure off the height of this thing. It says that it's 70 millimeters in height. Measure off 70, place it in on the drawing, and I can now draw a solid line going across the top over here, 70 millimeters up, and I can start looking at what is in the drawing. I'll be able to see. I'm going to start numbering this thing. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six over there, okay? Um, I will be able to see line number five over here. Um, let's just label these things. There's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, okay? And I can definitely see a line going from naught going up to five over here. Draw that in. I'll obviously be able to see a line going from 0 to 4 over there. I'll be able to see this line going from 1 to 0 over here. Uh, 6, I'll definitely be able to see that. That's at the front over here, so I can draw that in dark over there. Um, 2 and 3, they are going to be in hidden detail. Pop those in, in hidden detail, as fast as you can. Right and draw in 
Number two over there. Right. Okay, once we've got that, it says that I need to draw in the view of that square pyramid. Okay. Measuring off 45 millimeters. Bring it in over here. Just mark that off. Draw a line coming across. I can then drop a line down over here um, as a dark line coming straight down over there. If I take a 45 degree line going off over there and a 45 degree line going down over here, I'm then able to draw in that square pyramid nice and accurately there. They then say measure off 10 millimeters from that corner of the square over there. Um, so I'm going to measure that with a pair of dividers here. Measure 10 millimeters off, mark that off, and you take your 30 degree set square and you're going to draw in your cutting plane. Darken in and just do a center line story going through there and darken in on that side. You can label it AA, I'm using crowns here, but you use your pencil. Right, once I've got that, let's find the cutting plane on this thing. You can see that the cutting plane cuts through at that point over there. I'm going to drop a line coming down from there. And you can see that it is cutting through at this point A. I'm going to label it, point A over there, and B. Why do I have A and B? I've got two lines here, one, two, and one, six. Let's label this point over here as A. That's between 1, 6, and this point over here as B between uh, 1, 2 over there. It then continues down, and I have another point on this line 6 over here, 6, 0, um, and I can drop that down. Let's just use a, another color over here. There is 6, 0. I drop that down, and you can see that point over there, 6, 0, and I'm going to label that as point C. There is point C over there at six zero. It then continues to two zero over here. I'm going to take another line down and it cuts over the line two zero. I'm going to just draw that line in. There is a line that's coming across from two and I'm going to label that D, right? There is D on two zero. Um, I then continue across from five zero, let's just draw that line, drop a line down from five zero onto five zero over here. Let's call that E over there. It continues across, it cuts through three zero over here. Drop this down to three zero. I'll label that as F over there. I've got a line going from four to zero. Just draw a line going across there. There's four zero over there. And I'm going to drop a line coming down from four zero. And I can then label that as G over there. Right, there is my cutting plane. I can draw that in straight away. A to B. You can see a line going from A to C over there. A to C. C to E over here. C to E over there, E to G over here, G to F, F to D, D to B. Right, um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just have a look and see how I'm going to get that cutting plane um, as a left view over here. Right. How would I go about do, doing that? Um, I'm going to draw in an XY axis over here. Label it X and Y. And you can take a 45 degree line coming down over here, which I can then take those points across. Let's take A going across over there, going up from the 45 degree line, coming across, and I will have point A at that point over there. Point B, same story, take a line coming across, going up, 
intersects with there, and that is B over there. C, I'm going to take a line coming across. I'm going to take a line going up. I'm going to take a line coming across from C, and I can label that as C over there. Same story with D. Um, I'm going to take a line coming across from D, a line coming up from D, a line coming across from D, and label that point as D. Go to this point um, E over here. Take a line coming across from E. Take a line up from 45. Take a line coming across from E. There is E over there. Uh, take a line coming across from G. Take a line coming up from G. Take a line going across from G. I haven't labeled lead G over here. There is G. Take a line coming across from G. There is point G. Take a line coming across from F. Take a line coming up from F. Take a line coming across from, I haven't labeled F yet. F, there it is. Take it across and link it up with point F. There it is. Right, um, just count those points. I've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So I've got all those points and I can then draw in those points nice and quickly over here. Whoops. There we go. A to C, A to E, I mean, C to E at least, E to G, G to F, Jeff, uh, F to D, and B to D over there. Right, there we go, that is the cutting plane on the right view of this object. Okay, um, what we can do there as well is uh, we can figure out where point zero is. Take point zero across over here to the x, y axis. Take it up over here. And I can take point zero across and knock it in over there. I'm not going to continue with that view right now. I'm going to go and I'm going to figure out this shape on this view over here. Um, right. We can take a line coming across over here, okay, and I can drop construction lines coming down from those two corners over there and from the central point over there. I can measure off, they say it's a distance of 50 millimeters, measure off 50 millimeters coming straight down over here, and I can then draw in in dark Actually, no, in construction lines, sorry, construction lines. I'm going to draw in construction lines that shape. The reason being is that I need to do the, um, the cutting plane on that shape as well. Right, let's label this. Uh, I have got to point six over here, so I'm going to label this number seven, number eight, number nine, and number 10 over there, those corners. And this over here, I'm going to, for a better word, I'm going to call it point P. There's point P at the apex, and I've got number 7, number 10, number 8, and number 9 at that corner over there. Right, my cutting plane, it cuts through at 8, 9. So I'm going to call that point Q over there. Point Q is at that point. And there is point Q where that cutting plane cut through 8, 9. It is going to cut through this line 8P over here. I need to drop a line coming down. Coming down over there. And I'm going to label that R. There is point R over there. It continues through and it cuts through this line 7P. Okay? 
drop a line coming down. And I have got S over there. That would be S over there. Continue through. It is cutting through this line over here, 710. Uh, so I'm going to call that point T over there. And I can label it T. It will be a point view. There is T on that corner over there. Right, once I've got that, let's do that cut. R to S. S going up to, I mean, R going up to Q over there. R going up to Q. Q going across to T. Q going across to T. And T going down to S. There it is. There is your cutting plane. Um, and you could literally hatch that straight away. Uh, over here, I need to do the hidden detail over here. There'll be hidden detail going in over there. Going all the way across to F over there. There'd be hidden detail going across over here. From that point, note one has been cut away. See that one over there? It's been to totally cut away, so don't do hidden detail all the way up there. I'm going to do from that point over there, D all the way across to E over there. And there's the hidden detail done, and I can do the hatching over here for the story. And I can do the hatching over here as well. For this, because the two pieces of material are not actually touching each other, you don't need to change the direction of the hatch. You can just continue hatching in the same direction. Right, so I need to find that cutting plane for the uh, a little triangular pyramid in this view over here. So I need to take these points across over here from Q, from R, from S, and from T. Right, I'm going to go over here from S, take it across to the 45 over there, take it up over here, find where S is over there, S is over there, take it up, and there is S over there. There is my S, R, Take that across to the 45, take it up over here, find R, take it across, there is R over there. Right, tick, 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 no, there it is. R is over there. Okay, see that going up there, that joining up over there. Um, make sure that you do take those points across very, very accurately. Okay, uh, Q. I'm going to be taking that across. Q coming across over here. Q coming up over there. Q coming across over here. And you can see that that is going to link up at that point over there. There's Q coming up there and linking up with Q. That's point Q. Um, T. Going to take T across over here. Take T T's at that point, coming across, taking it up over there, and there is T at that point over there. Once I've got those in place, S to R, R to Q, Q to T, T to S. There is my cutting plane for the, for the triangular part. I can hatch that quickly. Okay, once I've got that in, I'm going to finish off drawing. What has been left over here? If I'm standing over here, looking across at this thing, point seven is still very much part of this drawing. So I can take point seven across. I find um, 
0.7, take that across, take that up, and there would be 0.7 over there. 7 would be linked up. You can see 7 is linked up to T. So there's 7 going up to T over there. And 7 is also linked up to S. So I'd have a line going from 7 going up to S over there. Right, there we go. Um, that's the, uh, that view. Um, I'm going to take point naught. Now, once I've got that in place, I can then say, all right, um, naught is connected to E. So I can draw a line going to E over here. Naught is connected to G. Can I see G? Definitely I can see G. Just look at that idea. If I'm standing over here looking to the right, I'll be able to see G. Um, I can see F as well, so I can draw a line going up to F. Now notice I drew the triangle part first so that I could make sure that I had the hidden detail in there and then continuing up there. D I'll definitely be able to see. Line going up and hidden detail going up there. Okay. Um, and I need to have a line going to um, 1. 1 has not been cut away in this view, so I need to take that across. Take that up, there would be one up at the top there. That would be number one over there. I can't see number one. I'm going to have to draw a line in hidden detail going all the way up there. Right, um, and that is basically everything that I need on that drawing. Um, D, 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 where's D? I've got all the points there, so that's good. And I can then do the hatching coming across here. Right, once I've done that, next thing is to get the cutting plane done. Um, just remove this from your board. And you're going to pick that up over there. Take that off carefully. Take this off carefully over here. Try not to rip your page as you're going. Right, get your set square lined up on the, on the cutting plane over there. And just want to get that more into the picture. There it is. Line it up really accurately. Stick it down so that it doesn't move. And now I can take lines coming off my cutting plane over here. Um, let's just use this. From A and B, I'm going to take a line. From D, I'm going to go from C, I'm going to have a line. From E, I'm going to have a line. From F, having a line out there. G, line going out there. Okay, and let's just change the color over here so that you can see this. There is T, S, R, and Q over there. Okay, what happens now is uh, we need to figure out where our X, Y axis should be so that I can fit that view on there. Um, right, let's just have a look at these points over here. The, the points that are going to be sort of furthest away from, from this drawing, C and E, um, we must just check, and maybe even A, just check that they actually do fit into the drawing. I've got my X, Y axis. I'm just going to highlight my X, Y axis a bit more over here so that we can see it. There is my X, Y axis. I'm going to be taking measurements from my X, Y axis over here down to, let's take it from A. Where would A fit in? I can mark off a point over here. Maybe my X, Y axis should be that far away. Let's just have a look. A definitely fits in at that point. Let's see whether I can use that same, that same axis. I'm just going to draw a construction line coming across here. And I'm just going to check that my X, Y axis that all the points can fit in from that X, Y axis. Note that X, Y axis is actually going through the front view over here. Um, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to measure off from X, Y axis to C over there. I come up here, 
I go to my XY axis, C definitely fits in. Uh, go and check that E can fit in as well. Let's take that measurement from E over there. Find E over here, go up to the XY axis uh, over there, and that definitely fits in. Right, so note my XY axis, I can actually physically have it going through the front view. Okay, I'm going to put that XY axis through that front view. Don't worry about that. Okay, um, let's label it XY, and we continue measuring from the XY axis. Let's take this measurement. From A, there is A over there, find A over here, bring it up here, label it as A. Uh, let's go to B over here, measure it, find B, go up to the XY axis, label it B. Go to C over here, measure the XY axis to C, find C, go up to the new XY axis, label it C. Go to D over here. Find D. Go up to the XY axis. Measure it. Label it D. Find E. Measure it. Find E. Go up to the XY axis. Mark it off. E. Uh, F, find F, go to F, go up to the XY axis, mark it off as F. And G over here, go to the XY axis, measure it, find G over there, go up to the new XY axis, mark it off, there is G over there. Right, once I've got that, Draw in your cutting plane. And that can be hatched. And the last thing that we need to do is to find these points over here. Um, of the cutting plane on the triangle over here, triangular pyramid. There we go. There is point T. Find T. Go up to the XY axis. Mark it off. There is point T. T and Q are the same length away. So there is Q. Um, R. Take it from the XY axis to R. Find R. Go up here. Mark it off. There is R. And uh, S over here, down to the XY axis to S, find S, go up to the new XY axis, mark it off. There is S over there, and I can now draw in T to S. Sorry, let's do that in a dark pencil. S to R, R to Q. and Q to T over here. Right, so there is your drawing done, and you can then just hatch that area quickly and effectively. There it is. Last little line that does need to be in place. I need that little number one, you can see my eagle is able to see that. So I need to draw in those lines over there. Let's do that quickly. From there to there. And from there to there. And that is the job done.